The perfect day for staying indoors and drawing a picture, if you ask me. And the perfect day for baking. Ruby, Mama, a rainy day is perfect for going outside. Huh? Muddy puddles. <sighs> Muddy puddles? Muddy puddles. Muddy puddles! Come on, the rain's nearly stopped. Wait for me! Hello, boys. Hello, Mr Millipede. What are you doing? Oh, uh, just cleaning my sign. It tells everyone to watch out for the puddles. Well, I don't want anyone getting stuck in one. Uh, job done. Many hands make light work. <laughs> Bye now, boys. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. See the sign? Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Do you think that was our fault? Oh dear, dear, this won't do at all. Hello, Lord Bartleby. Can we help? Help you? I'm not sure how. We could push the car out of the puddle. Marvelous idea, boys. Please carry on. Right. I shall give you the nod, then you can push, if you can. Push! Go on! You can do it! Push! Push! Atterby. Come along, push! Howdy doody, Your Majesty! Hello, Postman Spider! What's going on here? Stuck in the mud? I'm afraid so. Deary me! Mr Millipede usually puts up a sign when it's muddy. Um, oh, look, there it is. Oh, but it's covered in mud. I say, why on earth didn't he clean it? Um, now that Postman Spider's here, I'm sure we can get the car out of the puddle easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Good idea. Push! Come on! Push! Has he taken the handbrake off? Hello, everyone. What's happened? Didn't you see my sign? No, we didn't, because it's covered in mud and needs a jolly good clean. But I cleaned it this morning. I know I did. I, didn't I? Uh, we can get the car out now with Mr Millipede to help us. You might be right, Busby. Oh, good grief. Uh, here we go, then. Uh, oh, shit. That's it. You're nearly there. It. <gasps> We're stuck here forever. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't know how I made such a silly mistake. I'll see if I've got anything that will help. I'd... Oh, so, so sorry. Oh dear. Oh. It's not fair, Busby. Mr. Lillipy is in trouble and it's all our fault. But what can we do to make it all right? Ahem. <gasps> I know exactly what you can do. Come with me. Oh, I was so sure I cleaned that sign, but maybe I didn't. Did I forget? Oh, dear. Uh, Mr Millipede, Ooh. I think Busby and Barnaby have something to say. It was our fault that the car got stuck. Eh? Your fault? How? There were loads of great big puddles, so we had to jump in them. And then we made your sign all dirty. I see. Sorry, Mr. Millipede. Well, I suppose I'm glad you told me. Thought I was getting forgetful. Why don't we try and give the car another push? But we tried, Your Majesty. Even all together we couldn't move it. We didn't try all together. Huh? Hey, where's she off to then? 
Really, Your Majesty, pushing a car is most unseemly for a queen. Oh, do be quiet, Lord Bartleby. Queens can push just as hard as the next bee. Now let's get this thing moving. As you wish. A push, Your Majesty. What are you all looking at? <gasps> oh, your Majesty! Oh, oh dear! No. She's oh, going in no. more <laughs> <laughs> Ladybird, all the leaves I collected for the nature project. And my twig. Where did it come from? Uh, a tree? <sighs> yes, but which one? This leaf is from a beech tree. This leaf is from an oak tree. Boring snoring. Come on, slow coaches. Let's race to school. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now you've got two twigs to show, Miss Ladybird. Hmm. I can't wait to start the nature project. It's going to be brilliant. Oof. Who does that belong to? That's not nature. You're quite right. That's my suitcase. Huh? huh? Right, everyone. Seats, please. I have something to tell you all. I won't be able to help you with the nature project today. <gasps> oh, no. I have to go on a teacher's course. So a special nature expert is coming in to take charge. But I collected all these leaves for you. I can see. You've all been very busy. The new surprise teacher will be very pleased. <sighs> I don't like surprise teachers, nor me. They might be really scary. We have to try and convince Miss Ladybird not to go away. Hmm. Um... <gasps> Miss Ladybird, Miss Ladybird, I've just remembered. Today's Snail's birthday. We need a big party. Yes, you can't miss that. Look how pleased Snail is. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Uh, didn't we just celebrate Snail's birthday last week? Oh, yes. I forgot that. Psst! I've got an idea. If you want to stop her going, hide her suitcase. Yeah. Why? Because it's full of all her important teacher's things. She can't go without it. <gasps> Aha! That's Mr Millipede come to collect me. Come along, everyone. We can all go and say hello to him together. I'll see you again coming. What are you doing tonight? Wait you know what to do. Ready to go, Miss Ladybird? Yes, I just need to get my suitcase. <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh, uh, 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 Barnaby, it's nearly hidden. <gasps> <clears throat> Whatever's going on in there? <gasps> oh, 
What's all this, then? Um, nothing, Miss Ladybird. <gasps> My suitcase! We were just trying to hide it for a bit. So you wouldn't go away? Sorry. I have to go, boys. I know it might be a bit strange at first, but I'm sure you'll have fun with the new teacher. Hmm. Your new teacher will be along in a minute. Hi, Hi Miss Ladybird. Shall we go back inside, then? I suppose so. I wish Miss Ladybug I collected all these leaves from Miss Ladybug. I really wanted to. I don't know who they're going to send in. Cooey! They're here. Anyone ready to start the nature project? So excited. Are you our new surprise teacher? She's not a surprise. She's Katie Pillar. Yay! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's begin. I thought it would be really sad without Miss Ladybird today, but it's fun having a surprise teacher. That's a good thing, because there is more. Howdy doody. Let it write in with laughs, anyone. <gasps> Yay! That's Yay! with movement. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Serious sums. Hmm? Yippee! All three, please. What? <laughs> 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 They smell good. No eating them. Debbie and I are selling them at the school fair today. I just need to find some more old toys for our stall. Mmm, <laughs> cakes. You can't have those. They're for the fair. And you better get ready too. OK, Papa. Oh, whoops. Uh, there. Ruby, let's go. Coming. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Wow, look at all that. Have you got the cakes? Oh, no. I'll have to go back for them. You finish setting up. OK. There you go. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful flower. Lovely, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, I say, look at that. Mm. I'll take him. Thanks. I didn't know you were fond of teddies, Lord Bartleby. Oh, uh, it's not for me. Um, it's a present for my niece, for my niece. Of course. Shall we? <gasps> That's strange. I just saw Lord Bartleby. 
it'll be with a teddy. I know. I sold it to him. Isn't it great? Where did you get him? From your pram, of course. Oh, no. How did he end up in there? What's the matter? That was Busby's teddy bee. And he wasn't for sale. <gasps> <laughs> How are we going to tell Busby? Tell Busby what? Teddy Bee! Sorry, Busby. We'll get him back. The first thing to do is find Lord Bartleby, OK? Mm-hmm. Let's split up and search for him. <laughs> It's especially nice to have one now. No! <gasps> Sorry, Lord Bartleby, but he's mine. What? But... Busby's right, Lord Bartleby. I sold him to you by mistake. Oh, I see. In that case, he must have him back. <sighs> Thank you. Here's your money. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I was too embarrassed to admit I wanted him for myself. That's why I made up the story about my niece. <laughs> I haven't even got a niece, actually. Lord Bartleby, can you meet us in the playground this time tomorrow? Oh, of course. But why? You'll see. Right, Debbie. We've got work to do. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Hi, Lord Bartleby. We've got you something. Whatever's this? <gasps> A teddy bee? Oh. We made him ourselves. Do you like him? Like him? I love him. Thank you. He's the best present I've ever had. Oh, hello, Teddy. Now we can have a proper Teddy Bee's picnic. Yay! <laughs> 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 Shall I put them over here? No. How about here? Have you seen my school bag? Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, um, sorry, Busby. I haven't. Hmm. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> it was supposed to be a secret. I love secrets. What is it? I've got Mama some flowers, but don't say anything. It's a surprise. Shh. I won't. Shh. Have you seen my school bag anywhere? No, um, maybe you left it at school. What are you doing? It's a secret. <gasps> I'm good at keeping secrets. You can tell me. It's a drawing for Miss Ladybird as a surprise. Don't worry. I won't say anything. Shh. <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks for helping me with the shopping, Mrs Wasp. Oh, it's no trouble. I'd best be off now, though. I've got Jasper's presents to wrap. Oh, what's Jasper getting for his birthday? A beach set, a bucket, spade and beach ball. Wow, cool! But it's a secret, so make sure you don't say anything. Shh! I've got so many secrets to keep. Oh, yes. What are they, then? Oh, um, I'm not telling. <laughs> Oh, I need to sit down after doing all that shopping. <gasps> no! Don't go near the sofa, Mama. Why ever not? Because that's where the flowers are. <gasps> flowers? Oh, no. Sorry, Papa. Never mind. Here you are. Surprise! They're lovely. Thank you. You'd better not give away my secret, Busby. Don't worry. I won't. My drawing is all wrong. It looks lovely to me. <gasps> it's not as good as the one Ruby's done for you. <gasps> oh, no! Busby tells me you've done a special drawing for me. Busby! Sorry, it slipped out. It was going to be a surprise. Never mind. Why don't we have a look at it anyway? Hey, everybody, who wants to come to my birthday party? <gasps> oh, me! Oh, hey. oh, me. Um, I don't know what presents I'm getting. I might get a new train. Oh, or a football. Oh, or a million bags of pollen stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a party at the beach? Yay! Yay. I can't wait. <laughs> you can play with your new bucket and spade that your mum got for you. <gasps> I've done it again. Sorry, Jasper. I didn't mean to spoil the surprise. <sighs> it's OK. Hey, Busby. Are you OK? I keep ruining everyone's surprises. No one will tell me their secret ever again. I've got another secret for you. Really? Remember, you've got to keep it secret until Jasper's party. Hmm. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a new secret about Jasper's birthday. What is it? It's. <gasps> no, it's a secret. Hello. Oh no! I can't talk to Jasper. I might tell him by accident. Where's Busby going? Jasper, I can tell him the secret now, can't I? <laughs> yes, you can tell him. There he is. Jasper, Jasper, guess what? What? Postman Spider's going to do some special juggling tricks at your party. <laughs> I know. I asked him to. Huh? We were testing you to see if you really could keep a secret. Oh. <laughs> but I did keep it. Yes. Well done, Busby. How do you do that? <laughs> Sorry, Busby. That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, Jasper. Hi, Busby. Hello, Jump. Hello, how are you? Jump's got a new toy. <laughs> Fetch. Can I have a go? Of course. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I've got an idea. Hey, Busby, let's see who can swim the highest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the best joke ever. Let's go and try it on someone else. What are you two up to? Nothing! <laughs> Quick, our bag's done. Do it now. Shh. <laughs> you look tired, Mama. Why don't you sit down? Hmm. I suppose I have been rather busy today. Uh-huh. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's that? Quiet, Jump. <sighs> Lord Bartleby Buzz. <gasps> Good morning, Mrs. B. I am the bearer of some news from the Queen. Oh. Her Majesty was about to leave for an important engagement when the car failed to start. Oh, dear. So she thought it might be pleasant to join you for a cup of tea while she awaits the arrival of Mr. Millipede. Of course. We'd be honoured, wouldn't we, boys? Have a seat, Lord Bartleby. Oh, too kind. Quick, Busby, take it out of the chair. No, Mama, he can't sit. Shh, Busby. Lord Bartleby. <laughs> <gasps> what am I thinking? I can't sit down while Her Majesty is waiting in the car. Phew. One moment, please. Your Majesty. Now to get the toy back. Busby, <gasps> go to your room and find a toy for baby, will you? Ah, uh, Mama, and take that noisy flea with you. We've got to get rid of the squeaky bone before Lord Bartleby sits on it. I know. I don't think he'd find it very funny. No. What are we going to do? Busby. Coming! Come in, Your Majesty. Thank you, Mrs. B. Lord Bartleby is waiting outside for Mr. Millipede. Please, won't you sit down? Stop! Oh. Don't sit down! Busby! I mean, don't sit there, Your Majesty. <laughs> this chair's much more comfy. The Queen doesn't want to sit on that, Busby. Your Majesty. What a funny noise. <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Shh. Your Majesty. 
I just dropped by for a cup of tea. You must be tired after your day at work. Why don't you sit down? Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> this wouldn't have anything to do with you two, would it? You don't mind, do you, Papa? It's the best joke I've seen in a long time. You just have to be careful who you play it on. Isn't that right, Your Majesty? You do indeed. Now, how about that nice cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> children. Good morning, Miss Ladybird. I have a surprise for you all today. Oh, wow. What sort of surprise? You're all going on a treasure trail. Yay! I'm going to put you into groups and give you a clue about where you have to go. When you get there, you'll find another clue. You must keep going until you get the clue that means come back to school. And the first person back to school wins. The first group back wins. Here's your clue. Remember to work together as a team. Yes, yes, come on, come on. It's a bucket and spade. I know exactly where we have to go. Ant Hill stores. It could mean the beach. That's where you play with a bucket and spade. Yeah. But I've seen loads of buckets at the stores. And everyone else has gone already. Quick! But I'm going to Ant Hill stores. We won't win if we don't go now. No way, Busby. Let's go to the beach. OK, I'll go to the stores on my own. I'll meet you later. But we're supposed to work as a team. Hello, Postman Spider. Have you seen a clue for us? A clue? Well, let me see now. You looking for this, lads? Cool. Yeah. yeah! Can I have a look? It's a picture of some flowers. Hey, Katie Pillar grows flowers. Maybe we should go there. Hmm. Katie Pillar does grow flowers. But do you think we're supposed to go somewhere where there are lots and lots of flowers? Like... The, the flower, flower fields. <laughs> <laughs> we better need a clue for Busby. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. Hello, Millis. Have you seen an envelope? My clue was a bucket and spade, so it must be here. Sorry, Busby. The clue we had was for Ruby and Debbie. You should try somewhere else. Maybe the beach? Oh, Barnaby was right. OK, thanks. Here you go, Busby. Thanks. Flowers. Where can I find flowers? Ha! Got it! <laughs> Is. <gasps> Come on, hurry up! What is it? It's a clue for school. school! We're going to be first back! But Busby's still not found us. We should go back and look for him. If we go back and look for him, we won't win! We're supposed to be working as a team. Oh, all right then, if we have to. You gave me such a shock. Have you got an envelope for me? No, sorry, Busby. Is it important? I'm supposed to be on a treasure trail, but I keep going to the wrong places. Oh, 
I should have stuck with Barnaby and Jasper like I was supposed to. Coming here was a very good guess, but why don't you think of somewhere else that has flowers? Lots and lots of them. Oh, the flower fields. Right. You better be off if you want to catch up with your team. Thanks, Katie Piller. Bye. Go, but we had to come and find you. Another group would have won by now. I'm really sorry. I should have stayed with you. Now I've ruined the race. Never mind. Maybe we can still get second place. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, you two. You win first prize. Yay! We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the final clue, Miss Ladybird. Well done, boys. You're second. <laughs> Excellent work. I love treasure trails. Yes, and next time we'll stick together and be the winning team. I promise. Yay! <laughs> be breaking my record soon. What record's that, Grandpa? The Junior Looper record. I set it a long time ago. 20 loops in 20 seconds. Busby couldn't do 20 loops in 20 seconds. I could try. I'm fit and strong, Jasper. Look! <laughs> if you're interested in trying to break a record, there's someone we'll need to talk to, Busby. Hmm? <laughs> this is the Honey Farm Book of Records. The most pollen collected, the biggest jar of honey made in a day, the largest flower ever grown, it's all recorded in here. Busby's planning to break my junior looper record. I'm going to do 21 loops in 20 seconds. What is your current personal best? 10. Then you will have to train and practice very hard, Busby. If you get close, I'll lend you my special timer. <gasps> wow! I'm gonna be a record breaker! <laughs> <laughs> record breakers have to do lots of exercise. That's right. And they get plenty of sleep. And they're careful about what they eat. Should I have fruit instead of honey cake, Grandpa? Fruit would be better. Mmm... OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you two. We're going to the beach. Do you want to come? 
OK, great. I I'd really like to, but I'm practising my looping. Still think you're going to break the record? Yes, I am. I'll stay and help you practise, Busby. Thanks, Barnaby. See you later. <laughs> One, two, three. That's it, Busby. Nice strong flapping. Oh, wish I could be up there. Why don't you look with me, Grandpa? <laughs> I'd love to, but my wings aren't strong enough anymore. Good morning. Fifteen. How are things progressing? It was fifteen that time. Impressive. You can have the official timer. Thanks. I'm booking you in for Honey Farm Record Day, Busby. Wow. When is it? Next Thursday. Good day, everyone. You better keep training, Busby. I know I can squeeze in one more to beat the record. Hurry up, record day! <laughs> I hope it's not a waste of time, Busby. It's not, Jasper. Three, two, one, loop. Come on, Busby. <gasps> Does look like fun. It is fun. <laughs> I'm going up to cheer him on. Oh. Go on, Busby, you can do it. <laughs> Grandpa, you're looping. You're on track, Busby. Wee! Wee! Woohoo! This is wonderful! Oh. Oh. oh, my wing. Oh, it, it stopped working. Oh, keep looping, Busby. Don't worry about me. <gasps> Grandpa! Oh, I say. Oh. I've got you, Grandpa. <laughs> the record. Never mind that. Oh. Oof. Phew. Made it. Um, it should be fine in a week or two. Hmm? Thanks, Doctor. Busby, you're more than a record breaker. You're a lifesaver. Thank you, Busby. I'm so sorry I spoiled things for you. You're lots more important than breaking a record, Grandpa. Oh, how lovely. You can try again next record day, Busby. I will. I'll do 30 loops in 20 seconds. And I'll stay on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> guest, remember? Grandma's gone to visit Auntie B, which means... <gasps> Grandpa's coming to stay with us. Away! Come along, you two. Eat up. Grandpa will be here soon. Oh, that'll be him now. Grandpa! Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Look! What? 
A honey job. <laughs> Catch. Thanks. Now, Busby, how about a story? I've got a good one about a flea, a dragonfly. And... Hi, Grandpa. Oh. Busby, oh. we've got to go. Sorry, Grandpa. Mustn't be late for school. Come on. See you later. Oh. oh. All right. See you later then. <laughs> oh. Oh well. We've got something a bit special tomorrow, everyone. We're having a show and tell day. So I want everyone to bring in something interesting to talk about. It can be anything you like. A special toy, an old picture, it doesn't matter what it is. If you find it interesting, then so will everyone else. I love show and tell days. They're always the best fun. What can I take? Um, what can I take? Hello, Busby. Ready for that story? I... Sorry, Grandpa. I've got to find something interesting for school. Oh. oh. We've got show and tell tomorrow. So we've got to find something to talk about. Oh, really? No. No. Busby! What are you doing? <sighs> I don't know what to take. I know what I'm taking. So do I. Maybe Barnaby and Jasper can help. Have you two got something for show and tell? I can't think of anything. Oh, yeah. I've got something really interesting. Me too. Why don't you ask Mr Millipede? He's got loads of interesting stuff in his garage. <gasps> Good idea, Jasper. <laughs> I'm sorry, Busby. I can't let you take any of my tools. I need them to fix the car. Why don't you ask Katie Pillar? OK. Come in. OK. Oh, you look a bit down in the dumps. <sighs> I can't think of anything interesting to take to school tomorrow. Everyone else will have really amazing things for sure and tell. What you need is a good night's sleep. I'm sure you'll come up with something in the morning. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Can I have that story now? Of course. Once upon a time, there was a flea, a dragonfly, and a... That's it! What? I know what to take to school tomorrow. Thanks, Grandpa! Oh, <laughs> that's great! Shall I continue the story now? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a flea, a dragonfly, and a giant pizza. And they all decided one day to go to the seaside. Thank you, Snail! That really is the most interesting hat I've ever seen. Right, who hasn't been yet? Me, 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 me. OK, then, Busby, you're next. Where's your interesting thing, Busby? Wait and see. Huh? Grandpa, you can come in now. <laughs> This is my grandpa. He's the most interesting person I know. Morning, all. <laughs> he can make honey drops appear from under his cap <gasps> and then make them disappear. <laughs> <laughs> but the most interesting thing about my grandpa is his stories. Who wants to hear one? Yes! <laughs> right then. <clears throat> 
Once upon a time, there was a flea, a dragonfly, and a giant pizza. This is the best show and tell ever. That's my grandpa. Pizzas can't swim because they get very soggy and they sink. So the flea said to the dragon. The frisbee stuck to my fingers. Now it's stuck in the bush. Well done, Barnaby. Don't get your wings in a knot, Jasper. We'll get it out. I can poke it out with this. Nearly. Got it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> What's so funny, Busby? Um, nothing. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just a tinsy wincy bit ticklish under there? <laughs> <laughs> How about there? Or there? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm ticklish. But you're it! <laughs> <laughs> Barnaby, we've got to go. We said we'd help Mama. You're scared of another tickling, you me. Oh, catch you later, Jasper. Bye. <sighs> you will make sure these are delivered to Millis and Vince safe and sound. Yes, Mama. You can count on us. Whoa! <laughs> This is going to be fun. Nearly there. Lift your side up a bit, Barnaby. Oh, I'm trying. It's heavy. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. No! Help! Phew! Thanks, Barnaby. You'd better not do that again. It was only a bit of fun. But we're not playing now, Jasper. We're doing an important job. <sighs> oh. What's this? Hmm. The brave little caterpillar raced into the house as fast as he could and slammed the door shut behind him. He was still trying to catch his breath when he heard heavy footsteps outside. He peeped through a crack in the door and suddenly heard a loud, booming voice. <gasps> <gasps> oh, goodness! What is it, Busby? Oh, um, nothing, Miss Ladybird. Are you sure? Well, something tickled me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see anything at all tickly. May we continue the story, Busby? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's got into you today. I'm afraid you'll have to clear up this mess during playtime. But someone was tickling me. You don't have to help 
me Barnaby. Don't worry. Hey, what's this? Jasper, so that's who was tiggling me. Come on. Spread out, you two. Let's have a kickabout. You're the one who tiggled me. Me? Why do you think it was me? We found this under your desk. I just thought you needed cheering up. That's all. It was funny. <laughs> How would you like it? <laughs> Say sorry to Busby. Jasper, did you have something to do with Busby's giggles? Uh, oh, follow me, please. Uh, yes, miss. Uh, Since you were the one being silly, Jasper, you can finish tidying. Sorry, Miss Ladybird. Sorry, Busby. Uh, That's OK. I don't mind being tickled. But only when we're playing. <laughs> Thanks, Jasper. You're making us all laugh this time. Busby? Of course. You can't play rounders without a ball. Good. Busby, you back first. I'll throw the ball and everyone else can try to catch it. Everybody get into position! What are bossy boots? Yes, OK. Come on. All right. Ready. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Stop messing around. <laughs> See, I told you to stop being silly. Now try again, but this time be serious. I'm ready, Ruby. <laughs> Busby, you're not doing it properly. I'm just trying to have some fun. We'll never have a proper game of rounders with you acting like a silly little bee. <gasps> stop being such a bossy big sister telling me what to do, Ruby. You stop being an annoying little brother who never does what he's told. Fine, then I won't play anymore. <gasps> Busby! Busby! That's OK. We'll have a better game without him. I'll have a great time without bossy Ruby. What do you think, baby? A jigsaw, car or colouring? <coughs> yeah, I thought the jigsaw too. Watch all my work papers, Busby. Took me ages to sort them into the right order. I'll be careful, Mama. Good boy. I'm just popping to Ant Hill stores, so could you keep an eye on Baby for me, please? OK. Oh. Hmm. Silly pieces won't fit together. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby usually helps with jigsaws, but I'm not playing with her. I know. I can play with my car. I don't need Ruby's help to do that. OK. Jasper, your turn to bat. Barnaby, you can be fielding. Debbie, you can bat afterwards. Rounders isn't as much fun without Bosby. Jasper's right. 
His funny faces make me laugh. <laughs> I liked it when he flew upside down. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I suppose Busby does make things fun. Uh, OK, I'll go and find him. You play until we get back. Yay! Oh, no! <gasps> I've messed up Mama's papers. I'll never get them back into order before she comes home. I need my big sister. Hi, Busby. Ruby! I've messed up Mama's work papers and I need help sorting them. You won't call me a big bossy boots. Just tell me what to do. OK, Busby. Let's get to work. Thanks, Ruby. They're all numbered, so that'll make things easier. You collect all the ones with lower numbers on them. I'll collect the higher numbers. OK. I'm back! Oh, I put my papers somewhere safe. Thanks for not messing them up, Busby. Having trouble with this too? Uh-huh. Thanks, Ruby. Sometimes I need a bossy big sister to tell me what to do. <laughs> and sometimes I need an annoying little brother to make things fun. OK, in future I'll just be a little bit annoying. And I'll just be a little bit bossy. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they'll be waiting for us. We've got a rounders game to finish. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs>